Hi, I'm Chris, and uh, I'm going to be talking about Settlers of Catan, and in particular, I'm going to talk about strategies for Settlers of Catan. Uh, so, what I'm going to discuss is starting placement. So, your starting placement is your first decision in the game, and it's also the most important decision in the game. Uh, so, uh, what I did is I set up the board, uh, the resource hexes are placed randomly, the numbers are placed randomly. Uh, a few things I noticed uh, after setting up is that all of the wood hexes are all very low producing numbers, so 2, 12, 11, and 10. Uh, I also noticed that all of the ores are very high producing numbers, not too far from the ore port. I also noticed that this wheat is all clustered on one side of the island and happens to have uh, direct contact with the, the wheat port. Um, so if in my starting placement, when I'm putting out my first two settlements of the game, uh, I look for the top producing numbers. So I look where the 8's are, look where the 6's are, look where the 9's are, and I look for where the 5's are. The perfect scenario is to have 4 out of 4 of those top producing numbers. Hardly ever happens, so I usually settle for 3 out of 4. If I can have 3 out of 4, I'll have a good production and I, I won't be uh, strapped for resources throughout the game. So in, if I were to go first, and I would uh, be putting my settlement out first, I would have really like this wheat, so I would uh, try to go for this wheat port. Uh, so my choice would be between these two spots. Um, both are the, some of the top producing spots in terms of uh, probability of uh, drawing resources. Um, this one, the advantage of this one is that I get more wheat to use with the wheat port. The advantage of this one is that I'm closer to the wheat port and would be able to use it quicker. Um, so these are equal in terms of production and probabilities. So between these two, I would choose this one. The reason why is because this gives me nines and tens, whereas this gives me eight, ten, four. It gives me a larger variety of numbers. And I, if I put all my eggs in one basket, sure enough, nines would not be rolled if I focused on nines and heavy. And I would put my road heading towards the wheat port. So if I were to go second, and uh, this spot was already taken, I would go here. Uh, I would focus on the this really nice ore. I've got six and five, so it uh, gives me uh, two out of the four top numbers that I like. And I would put my road heading in this direction towards the ore port. Uh, for my second settlement, uh, I would have a couple of options. Ideally, I would like to put my second settlement close to that ore port and really cash in on that. If it happened to get blocked by another player, I would put my second settlement somewhere on one of these uh, high producing wheat spots. That would set me up for a really good city strategy. So that uh, placing there gives me a couple of different uh, good options. If I were going third and all the, these two top spots were taken, I would go here, uh, which is uh, de decent production, not quite as good uh, as these, uh, but still, still good. Um, the reason I would go here is because, well, for this is the best producing spot of wood on the board, so I'd be the only player with uh, somewhat access to wood, uh, and also a uh, really good brick spot, and uh, not really good brick spot, but I would have two brick spots, and uh, be close to the, the brick port, so I'd build my road and head in that direction. So, these are my thoughts and uh, some of my strategy ideas for Settlers of Catan starting placement.